one of the things I loved about your documentary is that the voices were varied mm. from various socioeconomic backgrounds, women who have different kinds of experiences with this. Because of how mysterious this condition has been, people look at it like first world problems, you know, mm. you know, because most of the people that had the boldness and courage to talk about it had to yeah. have some type of privilege. Mm. Meanwhile, women of all social strata and class have been facing this. Yeah. Did you find that when you talked about it at first to whoever you did, that people kind of tried to minimize it and say, oh, it's not a big deal or other women are going through this or something? So that's very interesting mm. because I think sometimes when people ask me questions, mm. they're like, oh, what's that? You know, and it's like, mm, well, it's... It's a syndrome, mm -hmm. and it's okay. So you know, oh, so it just causes acne. I'm like, no, um, it actually affects a lot of your body parts, like your yeah. system, like who you are. Yeah. Um, it's not just about like the superficial and fertility. It does so much more. <laughs> it wreaks havoc. Um, so yeah, I would say that some yeah before before the documentary, I think yeah. people were a bit more like, mm, okay, PCOS, okay, yeah. what's that? Yeah. Okay. Mm. But now they're like, oh, wait, mm -hmm. it does this mm -hmm. and that? Mm -hmm. Really, one syndrome? Uh -uh, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah, so I think they're more like, okay, let me go and read up on this yeah. thing. Especially because I keep telling them it affects one in six women in Nigeria and one in ten globally. So that's a lot of women. That's a lot of women. Yeah. So when I heard that, I had to, you know, I had to go Google. Because, yeah. like, I mean, I talked to guests who have dealt with PCOS, but hadn't had those stats. Mm. I'm like, if it's happening to one in six Nigerian women, there's a lot of silence going on. Yeah, one in five in India. One in five in India. Yeah. How do we manage silence with something that's affecting the lives of so many? Um, because it's our culture not to talk. Not to talk yeah, yeah, not yeah. to air our... I don't even call this dirty, but just air our problems outside. Yes. Um, you know, you have to deal with it. You know, yeah. you don't really talk to people about what you're going through. So everybody has been silent. Yeah. So that's why I was even shocked to learn of some of the other symptoms. Mm -hmm. Because everyone is so quiet. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, you just think it's just irregular periods, acne and hair suitism, which is excessive hair growth and mm -hmm. male pattern-like hair growth. Right. There's other things that there's a girl in the documentary that said her voice deepens. Like her voice can just... And it, <laughs> yes. There's other ladies, their foot size changes. Yeah. And this is nothing to do with pregnancy. Their yeah. foot size just changes yeah. because yeah. of PCOS. Yeah. Other ladies bleed for like three months. I thought I was bad, like, okay, weeks. Three months. For, if they wow. don't use anything, they can just continue bleeding. Bleeding for three months. Yes. And you know, someone um, actually said to me the other day, this is like the story of, is it Ruth in the Bible? Is it, yeah. That makes so much yeah. sense. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they I'm were saying, like, PCOS was even around then. I was around like, really? that time, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I mean, it, it makes sense that it will be there around yeah. that time. What were your own symptoms, though? Um, so the main symptoms for me are hair suitism. That was a really big deal for me, right. the hair growth. Right. Because um, it's everywhere. Right. <laughs> right. Um, and then the hormonal acne. Mm. Because I couldn't explain. I can't. It's even now. Like, I can't. I, can't I have one nice people here, and I'm like, what's all of this? <laughs> and I spend, like... Let me say, like, 800K a right, month. Right, Yeah, on my skin. Mm. Because I have to do laser hair removal as well. So, right. like, yeah. Like, almost what it's gone up because exchange rates. Yeah, so, and I'm like, why do I still have get to do acne? It. Yeah, so, there's that. And then mm. the, the missing periods. I mean, I didn't have a period for a whole year. What? Yeah, I didn't bleed for a whole year. That must <laughs> have been frightening for you. Or what, I don't know, you? because I don't enjoy periods, so. Right, so you went, so <laughs> So I was kind was of, I don't bag. know, I was just like, whatever. Because <laughs> I'm used to periods disappearing and appearing. Yes. Like, Houdini. yeah, of course. Yeah, just come today to ne next month, you know, see it. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm not pregnant, <laughs> so no problem, whatever. You mentioned coming back to Nigeria, you know. <laughs> what happened when you came I back? I just got back. I didn't yeah. just get back. Let me tell you, I was actually, I was born in Nigeria. Yeah. I moved when I was about one years old. Mm -hmm. So, right. what? First of all, why did I even move to Nigeria? Okay. I, I had just finished uni. Yeah. Of course, I came for 30 December. But this is when 30 December was. Well, not yet 30 December. Exactly. Like yes. 2010. I yeah. was like, oh, what's this? I like it. <laughs> this is nice. Okay. I did an audition for yeah. Bobby Boulders. You know Tola Odunsi? Yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. <laughs> so when I, <laughs> when I came previously mm -hmm. to do the audition, mm -hmm. I met a guy. Okay. Yeah. I met a guy. <laughs> so it was a very tough time mm -hmm. because... Again, I moved to, <laughs> moved to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I had a friend. Mm. 
you know how this breakfast of a thing. You know, London girls are not used to Lagos boys. Right. So that one. Wait, breakfast between this yeah, person and your yeah. friend? No, breakfast between me and the person. Right. Like me being served. Because yes, I, I don't understand the setup yes, in Niger, right. how men move in Niger. Yes. Do you get? I'm a newbie. Yeah, so, so this, this was, breakfast is yes. not, this is like a spread of different <laughs> continental breakfast, Niger, everything. So I went to. I went to Cool FM to audition. Okay. And I dropped my audition tape. I, I recorded. I know I dropped the tape. Nobody got back to me. So I asked somebody, I asked my cousin. Um, he now asked someone that he knows that worked at Cool FM. Mm. Uh, so they went and they said they said they didn't get anything. So they're now like, come back for another audition. I actually right. don't drop a tape. Audition. Right. So I auditioned. And that's where I actually, that's, is after that mm -hmm. I met after that audition right. is when I met this my friend anyways right. so anyway 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 yeah. <clears throat> stories all over the place cut long story short somebody threw my audition away right. at Cool FM because they felt like this British accent is coming here no 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 <laughs> so they threw it so away they so they never got it yeah they felt threatened right. so eventually I got a job at Cool FM yeah. and the person actually told me that they threw my audition away uh, oh, oh, oh. yeah and I was like okay and by the way, everybody was mean to me there. I think it's only Kayla that was nice. And everybody was mean to, cool to you and yeah, huh? Everybody, everybody I, I would cry going to work and cry coming back because they were like, oh, she's sleeping with the boss. That's how she got this job. Oh my God. Oh, who is she? Where did she come from? I had to be going to get my salary, like, sneak. Like, it was. What? Yeah, everybody was just like, she's doing, she did something dodgy to get here. And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, wait, why does everybody hate me? So I didn't understand the dynamics of politics. Okay. Why do you think that was happening, though? Is it... Um, I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's like they, maybe they had been badly treated. I don't know. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, yeah, I did get perks. Like I got to fly to New York for the Banjo's concert. Right. You know, they were yeah. like, "Oh, you go and cover it." You know that kind of stuff. So mm, yeah. maybe yeah, they thought that they thought that this was unfair to them or something. Yeah, like and now I can talk about this. Yeah. The reason why I actually left, and well, at first I got suspended. I go three of us because we sat on the table at Industry Night at Oriental, and there were BFM people there. So someone went back and said something. Okay, why was that an issue? I don't. I didn't even know the BFM people because I just, you know, I had been around for a month. I didn't really get. So somebody saw us and snitched. I went back and the then boss, right. ah. so obviously they've been looking for something, yeah, a chink in the armor. Yeah, or something. yeah. So anyway, so you were suspended first. Yeah. And then why did you leave? Because they were just like, I should write an apology letter, and I was like, for what? What did I do? I just sat somewhere. There's nowhere else to sit. So I was like, oh, this is long. So that's how I started my journey. My journey. If I tell you my journey, ah. Please tell us what to do. Yeah, my journey. Hey, God. <laughs> so you left it. So, so you, I left it. But you worked there for like a month? Yes. Right. So I you... went back to the mainland. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to the mainland. It's okay. Yes, yes. I started eating puff puff in the, in the morning. Yeah, because I was not. Because my mom cut me off, actually. I had spent like one million naira. And this is when it was like 250. Yeah. Right. So I spent, I finished Sky Bank, her accounts. She's like, I, that is enough. Is that why you come home? Yes, or, or you're on your you own. Know your own. So that's like, oh, how will I do this now? Hey, will I not enter runs? Because I cannot enter runs. <laughs> My head is not fit for this runs life that I've seen this baby in. It's not for me. I cannot do it. Yeah. So I was like, okay, what do we do now? So I went by St. Milan. I would write proposals in mm. a, 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 there's a salon in Ebute Meta. I would write, I would sit there, you know, like these huts. Like, you know those makeshift ones where they, the water, they will use buckets to yes, wash your wash, hair. Yes. Hey, I'll sit there. When they have like, it's me and them, we'll be there just in watching African magic. I'm writing proposal. I'll write proposal. I'll give it to somebody. They'll say, ah, do you want to go to Ghana? No, I don't want to follow you to Ghana, sir. That's the end of the proposal. <laughs> okay, no problem. This time, Instagram is not popping, you know? So all of us are just hustling. I'm yeah. like, God, one day, one day. So then I moved somewhere else with my other aunt. And the, the routine there is like, if you leave the house, if you, if you, if you leave the house, like, 7 a.m. You have to leave with everybody. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you stay at home till 7 till everybody gets home. So you have to pick. Are you yes. going to leave at 7 a.m. or you stay to... at home? So uh, I'll stay sometimes with the um, house help and she'll be teaching me Yoruba because so, we'll be watching African Magic together. We'll go down the street, go and buy a uh, puff puff. We'll come back. Guys, because you can't, really, you, you can't, you can't really, yes. go, like, go for far. a long... Yeah, exactly. Proximity has to be close. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's where I really like kind of brushed up on my Yoruba. Yeah, doing, yeah. Doing, yes, <laughs> yeah. So I really like was going through it. Ah, Lasma took my... I don't even know if I can say this, but they took my BBM pin because I had to, I, I don't know, I got into trouble. They said they're going to pound my car. I was like, 
guy, my, my tire popped, like the brake stopped, it failed on my car. Okay. And they were like, yeah, but I don't, care. don't care. You ended up in BRT lane. We're taking you, we're going to impound your car. That's yeah. it, a fine girl. Just give me your number. Say, I thought I found here. Please, sir, can I give you my BBA? <laughs> Say yes. That's how me and Lasma. Hello, dear. In the morning, I'm going to I'll be going back to lunch. I'm going to this. Oh. And then I, so then I moved somewhere else. Ra rats chased me out of that place. I was like, guy, what? I moved back to the islands. And then rats started disturbing me. As in, I'm not joking. Rats in the floorboard. There's one, some days I would even sleep in the car, in the compounds. I didn't even know that that thing is dangerous. You put AC on, I sleep I in the car. I in the car. Oh, right. my chest. And then I was, in between, I'll be chopping different type of breakfast. You know, you meet somebody. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just stressful. Right. And in all this time, you were still looking for a new job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, I, then you know, at some point, I wanted to leave. Mm -hmm. So I went to the airport. Apparently, my mom didn't even book me on the flight. She said she did. She didn't. I got there. No flight. Went back home with my suitcases. I was like, what kind of life is this that I chose for myself? So anyway, the next day, I had auditioned for MTV like a month before. So... And this is my guy friend yeah. that served me the first breakfast. The first breakfast. He actually gave me Open Heavens. Okay. That's so Open I, Heaven's book okay. by Oh, by the way, in between this, I got malaria for the first time. So it's like <laughs> my enemy was good. Uh -huh. So <laughs> when, when I got to the airport, they said I wasn't on the flight. So I was like, brilliant. So Come, this whole thing you described can be its own reality show, I, documentary. I swear to you, I, I actually did an animation about it. But I just never released it. Because right. I was like, is this my life? I, I can't even tell you about the time I went to Festac and chop breakfast as well. <laughs> Wait, it's all right. Oh. I really eaten. It gave me deluxe version. Specifically breakfast. <laughs> so, yeah. so I so I so went back home yeah. because I was obviously not on the flight. Yes. And I now calling my mom parent, like, what's going on? Like, why are you I don't understand. What was she why did she do that? She said that, uh, that the ticket agent, they said that he's oh standby. I said, what kind of thing is that? <laughs> so you get back home <sighs> so from the airport. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then what happened? You, you you're talking about you had an audition the next day or something. No, so I had auditioned for all these places. Mm -hmm. Tinsel, right. um, and MTV, and then yeah. somewhere else. I even used to go for all these, um, net, you know, this modeling thing yeah. where they'll say that you put you on billboard. Yes, yes. I used yeah. to go for that. I, I used to be in the hot sun, standing outside waiting. They'll say, Oh, you are too yellow. You are not yellow enough. You are too thin. You are too. Oh, God. You that... hustled like a proper yellow. Yeah, again. yes. I love it. <laughs> yeah, so I, so I go back home. I said, What's all this? I check my email. Ah, yeah. bam. I was like, Oh, MTV. Oh, we want you to come in for another audition, right. like with the bosses now. I said, Hey. Then Tinsel, a couple of days later. Wow. Oh, yeah, we're going to give you like a star role in the office. I said, oh, gosh. Wow, I just started crying. Yeah. Because yeah. God had a plan for me, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just had to chill. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's how I really started. Yeah. That's how I got into MTV, then yeah. The Voice, um, Ebony Life. Yes. And then, and then it just yeah. began to happen. And then it just, yeah, yeah, just went off like that. So you were dealing with these and then you got married. And then it was time, you wanted to have a baby. Yeah. And then PCOS yeah. knocks on the door again. Right. <laughs> yes. So I did try. And when I tried, it didn't work. I, no, I mean like naturally. Naturally, yes. naturally yeah. yeah. Um, and I just got tired of seeing the pregnancy test be negative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That alone is like traumatizing because you feel pregnant. Like, oh, yeah, maybe I'm pregnant. You get excited. And then it's like, oh, it's like, okay, I'm not pregnant, actually. That's great. How many times am I going to do this? Because I can't just keep going somewhere to the bathroom <laughs> um, and getting this negative answer, this reply. I don't like it. Is there something else I can do, please? Uh, I want to be going. I want to get the show on the road. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a difficult decision to decide an idea. Well, it was a costly decision is what I would say. Because we, my husband, <laughs> no, <laughs> um, yeah, you were talking about like $40,000 back then. You know, like, yeah, then the second one, I think, the second one was like 30,000. I did a failed IVF last year. You did a third IVF? A second. A second so IVF. I got pregnant on the first IVF. Right. Yeah, right, cycle. Right, right. The second one failed. Ah. And I actually went into stand in front of a car and just let the car hit me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe the tissue is coming. Oh, gosh, no. Yeah. I actually wanted the car to hit me, I'm not gonna lie. PCOS, wow, I really hated myself then because I felt like I traveled all the way to Los Angeles mm. to get pregnant. Mm. And my husband was doing mm, elections, like, mm. you know, so everybody's like, okay, you know, he's doing elections, you're gonna get pregnant, it's gonna be a great year. And then um, 
I went to, yeah, I went to LA, you know, the injections, you have to inject yourself in the butt, in the stomach. Ugh. And um, I was so sure because I got pregnant the first time. So I was like, yeah, hello. I'm the poster girl for IVF. I always get pregnant. And I remember I was sitting with my cousin-in-law at the restaurant and they called me and they, the nurse was like, hi, Stephanie. I was like, hi. I had just finished talking to my husband and he was like, if it's a girl, and then I go, you people will pack to the back of the house because you people can't overthrow me in this house. So I was like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. It's going to be another girl. We'll show you. So she called me. I was like, yeah, hi. And then she was like, hi, Stephanie. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to be giving you this bad news. And I was like, I was like, she was like, yeah, um, oh, I'm so sorry, it's negative. I was like, mm, okay. I just, <laughs> oh gosh, Trudy, you got me. I'm so mad. Um, she was like, it's negative. And I was like, oh, okay. Which, like, okay, but it's negative, like how? Like, oh, so if somebody said it's negative and you're still asking how, I was like, no, I mean like, what happened? Yeah. I asked her, did the baby not like me? Like, what, what did I do? Mm. Like, did, did, like, why did it, what do you mean? Like, mm. I can't go back home with no baby. Mm. How can I go back to Lagos not pregnant? You know, my husband is doing politics. You know, he's not around. I'm like, this is our, you know, happiness. Uh, we are gonna have, you know, my daughter wants a sibling. What do you mean? I'm not getting back on that flight yeah. and with no baby. Yeah. She's like, oh, I'm so, so, I called my friend. I said, oh, I don't think the child liked me. Don't stay. Wow. And she was like, she's a doctor. I said, so where is it? She was like, what? I said, where's the baby? Because did they not put it inside? Where is it? Why is it not there? And she said, oh no, it disintegrates. Like it just, it, it just the cells just, yeah. So I literally walked out of the restaurant and I was like, I think this is Melrose, Melrose Avenue. And I was like, I think this car should just hit me. Cause then like, because what am I doing? What yeah. what was this? Like, yeah. what did I do all of this for? Yeah. What did they spend all this money, all this time, all this energy, energy, all this pain? What did I do this for? For goodness sakes, how can I go back? They had to change my ticket. Wow. Yeah. That's that was like 2023 was horrible. Right. Yeah. Because mm. I had to get on that flight back home. Yes. Yes. With, with no baby. Yes. Yeah. I can't imagine being on that flight coming back home. I, was, oh, oh, I started bleeding. <sighs> Yeah, they told me, so it's okay. At this period, they gave me advance. So you're notice. ready? Yeah, but at least I had a period. That was the last time I had a period up until this year in February. Then I ended up in hospital. Again? Yeah, I ended up in hospital because I was bleeding this too much. Too much, right. I passed out, yeah. You passed out? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I passed out, but they gave me some the drip, uh, certain transdynamic acids, yeah, so it slowed it down. So yeah, story of my life. But I think, um, yeah, it's okay. I yeah. believe I went to work the next day. The next day after you passed out from bleeding, bleeding yeah, out, you went to work. Or something. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess. I need to stop doing that.